Awesome. So, what would you guys do? Points. We'll have to find out after this what I will buy, because at the moment I'm on 855,000 SP points. But hopefully after this game, we will be there at 1 million, guys. Right, so basically what I'm doing is I'm doing one set play the whole game through to maximize my SP points because I like short 150,000 SP points for my 1 million SP points guys so I have to complete this game this is going to be a 20 minute game so after that I will be opening up my 1 million SP points. It's been a while since I've been streaming. Um, the connection has been really bad here in South Africa. So hopefully the stream got another one if it does cut out. So you can mix it up a little bit if you want to because there's a few um, set plays that gives you like 300 SP points at a time like you can see there which is really cool by the way uh, I will be making a video on rugby set plays um, I know I've done one before but I'm actually going to try and execute every one every single one to perfection How's it Ryan? So what I'm trying to achieve guys is I'm going to try and get a million SP points. I'm already standing on 855,000. So hopefully after this game I will be standing on a million SP points. And we will be buying some booster packs for you guys. Just a reminder guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel just yet, please uh, show your support by uh, pressing the like button and also subscribing to my channel. Right, the fluid druid says he's got a challenge for, for me. Pick a weak team, 15 minutes on pro and see what you can score. We need to hammer those... Uh, we need to hammer home to these devs how easy this game and how yeah it's a game breaker well actually um, the fluid route I did do one before um, if you go and check under my um, videos you will see uh, a low rated um, team against South Africa which is the highest ranked team I think I did an 8 minute game and I actually managed to to win that game in the end quite comfortably I think I just can't remember quite correctly but you can go and have a look at that my team rating was I think like 35 to to South Africa's 92 rating um, yeah so the problem with the devs at the moment they're not really working through through the whole virus situation um, fluid route um, I did ask them just a couple of days ago um, whether we will have any updates or anything I kind of threw through a, a little tantrum because they didn't like answer like four of my messages before that so yeah, I did get a reply a little bit later on saying that with the whole circumstances um, they're not sure whether we will get an update real soon. Which is really sad because um, obviously the game is too easy, way too easy. Um, which is spoiling the game completely at the moment for me. And then obviously the online servers are dreadful in this game. 
as well. I'm and pick a weak team to play against and see how many points you can rack up at pro level. How many points I can rack up at pro level? I can do that um, for you, uh, Fluid Root. Um, I will do one after the stream for uh, for you guys and hopefully post it by tomorrow. Um, I don't think it would be that difficult to get a really high score. Um, I'll do what I'll do is I'll pick the weakest team in the game, which is probably Russia at the moment. And then play against South Africa, who's rated 92, and see how many points I can I can rack up in that game. Um, Ryan Webb, I'm really good, thank you. Um, it's been a busy week for me so far, trying to, to boost my YouTube channel, because obviously the the heart and soul of my channel has been stolen by the coronavirus. So yeah, I'm trying to to do some stuff, but like I say, my heart and soul has been ripped from from my channel. Um, my subscribers have been really slow, and the views have been slow, so I'm really uh, stagnating at the moment. So I'm just trying to do anything possible just to keep the channel going. Uh, the fluid drew says that link I just posted in is a screen of my one match tonight 15 minutes at pro um, let me just get the message correct the fluid and I meant pick a weak team to play against ah okay so basically I will have to to pick like the spring box against Russia and try and rack up as many points in 15 minutes as I can. All right, Fleurdrut, that is challenge accepted. 117 points to nil, you say. And then obviously we need to to like send this out to to the devs department um, in a way. How's it, Regan? How are you doing tonight? Um, so yeah, Regan has been one that has been struggling to, to rack up these SP points, so Regan, if you're watching this, um, you, can, you can have a look at it and see what I'm basically doing to get those SP points. So basically what I'm doing is I'm doing a set play over and over and over. Um, I've seen that the wideout or the dummy switch pop is your easiest ones to to get those SP points so you just basically do this the whole time and there at the right bot uh, top you'll see I managed to get 300 SP points for that exactly they oh really need to see how much of a game breaker it is yeah um, it is it is a really really sore point um, the fluid route I mean the game has so much potential if you if you look past the graphics and then obviously um, the online play of the game so it would be a real shame if if this game has to go down as one of those games that that uh, basically could have been um, one of the best I did see that the overall rating for the game is 7 out of 10 which is probably enough for them to to actually make another game for us in the future so I'm really hoping that that they do make another one because obviously they've got um, like the basic stuff here for us um, but if they could maybe just improve the, the difficulty level for us in the game and then maybe just give us a little bit more of an option game modes 
um, career mode and obviously um, a longer solo mode because I've I basically I can't even remember in what season I am um, with my solo mode but it's like forever and you get tired of just playing the one leak oh no this is not a good sign guys uh, it's getting stuck at the moment so hopefully it's not going to to cause an error on the game. Still up for the tournament tomorrow. Um, Regan is asking whether I'm still up for the tournament tomorrow. I don't mind playing a mini tournament. Um, at the moment, it's like I say, if we can do like a free free player tournament, would be really cool. I don't know the fluid route. Are you on PlayStation 4 or on Xbox? Um, on which one or which one do you use PC Xbox or PlayStation 4 oh has this game stuck now please tell me it's not Right, there we go. I'm just going to call for half time here. Obviously, score does not matter here. I'm not sure about the fluid route. I mean, even the tournament that we're doing at the moment, um, which fluid route commented on earlier, really terrible. Um, almost unplayable, like you said, but. Luckily not all the games are like that, there is some really decent games online as well, which is really not bad. Um, for those of you who have just, jo just joined in or watching now, um, I've promised you guys a million SP points booster pack showdown, which I would love to do for you guys after this game, because I am short on about... 150,000 SP points and hopefully this little error on the game at the moment is not going to cause the game to to throw an error um, um, we're holding up thumbs that it does not happen there's about 10 minutes left of this game um, which I'm confident I will get more than 150,000 SP points. To improve the AI, have you noticed that the AI always kick out on the full? This puts them mad. Yeah, no, I I did see that um, fluid route. Um, like, a, yeah, it's it's small little things that they need to fix up for us. Um, it's like I say, if the AI can just be a little bit more rugby minded and uh, and play a decent game this game will already be a lot better because like I said I've, I've put in the hours guys rugby 20 I've made back my money on the playing hours that I've put in um, I've got all the trophies um, that they set out to complete so 100% trophy um, line up there and then I've done all the all the competitions in the league mode that there possibly is to play and also with solo mode I've gone through everything I've tried everything so yeah the only thing that I haven't managed to do just yet in rugby 20 basically is execute every single set play to perfection which which will probably be my my next challenge that I put out for this Come game. On PC and online is unplayable. Ah, <coughs> uh, okay. Fluid Root says he's I on PC and online is unplayable. Yeah, I heard that that a lot of people are complaining about um, the PC version of the game, and and I'm not sure whether the, whether the what did they call it the the arena or something where you could actually go on steam and play a beta to tell them what's wrong i don't know if that still exists the fluid route can maybe help me on that one because obviously i haven't bought the pc version 
and then also I have a I have an interesting question for the fluid route have you heard that they are doing a club world cup yeah okay I'll answer Regan just now um, question for fluid route have you been able to to modify your rugby 20 game like uh, create the real Springbok team and England team with their kits and stuff and what program do you need to have in order to do that because I might just get the PC version of the game just for that right and then to get back to Regan um, it's it's a proposed tournament it's not going to to happen for sure um, it might happen next year it might happen the year after next year but it's really something that's really cool and I would love to see happening because I mean rugby has been a little bit boring as of late you've had your pro 14 adapted with the two South African teams coming in um, the English Premiership is still going on the French top 14 is still very popular amongst the people but when you go to South African rugby, you get Super Rugby um, and you get Curry Cup and you get obviously Dimitri uh, New Zealand Cup and the Australian one with Curry Cup hardly exist here in South Africa anymore Why I Amit am Kumar, here. why am I here? I haven't actually got a comment from you Amit Kum Kumar um, what we are doing, I'm just finishing up this game real quick. Um, there's about five minutes left of this because I need to 150,000 SP points to get to my million. And then we will be buying some booster packs to uh, obviously some of your guys' choices and then also some of mine just to see what we can get for a million SP points oh dear he can't score that's not gonna happen right so he's going to force my hand to go and score a couple of tries just now so that might have an impact on my SP points oh and he's missed it so I only need a converted try to win this game which is gonna be real simple um, yeah, just need to get my hands on that stupid ball. So this is basically what the AI does. They just run up every single time or they just pass the ball um, to the end of the line, basically whoop whap, or they just kick it out on the full, like there. So absolutely no competition at all, the AI, which is really sucking because the online game isn't much better. Um, too many glitches and, and lagginess there. Oh, I'm not going to get there. Let's do a set play to get there, hopefully. And the prop will go in. Oh no, don't, please, please don't. I don't know what is going on with the game. It's been doing this a couple of times now. Where it just errors out and uh, I have to like restart the whole game. And I lose my booster packs, or not my booster packs, but my challenge cards. Which I use is just gone after the error comes in. Right, so the fluid druid hasn't answered me just yet, guys. Um, ah, there we go. There's no workshop content for the game. Looking in there, I see nothing there that can no be edited. There is no workshop content for the not game. Not my in anyway. Ah, okay. Because I actually did see anyway. a video on YouTube, um, the SA Gamer doing one, um, which was really cool. He created like the whole England and South African team with their with their kits and stuff which was really cool um, it's something that I would love to do if if uh, the console games could ever do that but they can't because I obviously love realism in the game 
um, and the fact that the Springboks and New Zealand and Australia and England's not licensed in this game just put a l little damper on that for me but I've been trying to to create like all the teams that's not licensed but obviously it's players that's not currently I'll playing for New tomorrow. Zealand some of them are playing for South Africa um, which is really cool um, yeah, Fluid Root, you can, you can just go to, to YouTube, hey, check out SA Gamer, um, Rugby 20 mod, or you can just go to, to the Rugby's channels. He did do a video on that. Um, yeah, so, how's it, Alex? How are you doing tonight? Um, I did start my, my, uh, stream a little bit late, guys. Hey, hey, hey. How's it, Logan? Also joining in. Um, I know you guys are probably hey all Alex. waiting for the million uh, SP points booster pack galore, which will be happening just after this game. Hopefully it doesn't crash before then, because there is Good, a terrible glitch at the moment in the game, um, which like doing? really makes it in slow motion. So... Yeah, there we go again. It's happened again. Um, so, let's hope it does not crash. I'm good, thanks, Logan. Um, like I say, it's been a busy week so far, trying to, to boost my channel somewhat. But, um, like I told the other guys, my, my heart and soul has been ripped from me with the whole corona going Hi, on and not been hand. able to, to post up. videos on super rugby and so on it has worked right there's about two minutes left of this game guys then we will be opening some really cool booster backs Hey guys. I wonder how much I'm going to get for for this game. Um, really hope it is that 150 that I'm still looking for. How's your day been, Alex? MOG thumbs up with light skin tone. MOG thumbs up with medium light skin tone. MOG thumbs up with medium light skin tone. Mm. I am starting a rugby YouTube channel. Can you give me some advice? I didn't get that one. Did I get the message for that? Um, we'll just have a look at it now. Ah, okay, good, good. What about yours? Good so guys, good. I've what been seeing yours? a lot of people playing rugby challenge free as of late. Um, Obviously, I'm I'm done with the game. Um, I'm not playing it anymore because I do find it a little bit dull at the moment. As uh, there's no, you're just running around like a simulation game, and obviously there's the fan up which you can create your your own players, which gives it a little bit of um, time to play. But as far as as entertainment hey, Guru, goes, I prefer doing? rather playing rugby twenty. How's it, Aaron? Good to see you on the show again. Yeah, it's been it's been a while since since I've done some live streams. Ah, uh, so I have fallen short with around about twenty thousand SP points, guys. But I mean, nine hundred and eighty is close enough yeah, to to a million. Hello all. Uh, yes, Regan says he's just been playing Rugby Challenge 3 as well. Um, me and him did have a talk about it the other day. Um, I kind of played one online game with him I and said, on I'm Sunday, done with sorry. it. Emoji crying loudly. Hey Ben. <laughs> hey uh, it's ben. all good, uh, Aaron. Um, we'll be doing one on Sunday again. I've been on and off RC3. How's it been? If I haven't greeted you, I can't hey remember. Happy tears. 
Right, guys, so 980,000, close to a million. I've just fallen short of it. Let's go and open some booster packs for you guys. Right. Lots to buy. MOG happy to Lots to MOG buy, yes. So I did manage to get a couple. Um, the first one to to give me a booster pack, I will buy that one. Except the unlicensed ones. Go for it, guys. Which one should I buy? And obviously Wales is out. Are the packs any good? Dragons. Logan says dragons. Let's go to the dragons. Um, where is the dragons, by the way? Um, there we go. There's the dragons. Scarlet. All right. Did I buy it now? Yeah, I did. So Aaron says Glasgow. Um, let's buy a Glasgow pack. Boy, okay. Um, where's Glasgow? Where is Glasgow? Glasgow is like one of the most expensive ones, I think. Or not. Ah, VIP says Toulouse and Logan says Sale. Right, so I'm going to stop you guys there. We've got Dragons, Glasgow, Scarlet, Benetton, Toulouse and Sale that we will be opening. So we've got now Dragons, let's look for for Glasgow. I did see it, there we go. One Glasgow. Um, one Scarlet, Scarlet is up, there we go. One Scarlet, one Benetton, where is Benetton, there we go. And we've got a Toulouse one of the most expensive ones and then we've got a sale booster pack right let's go to it let's open the dragons first guys and see what we get Bevington, Corryhill, Hewitt and Jenkins damn then definitely a waste of time right let's go to the next one is the Glasgow Warriors booster pack let's see what we can get from there um, D. Raul, Johnny Gray, Cummings and Sam Johnson I think Sam Johnson is the only one that I don't have at the moment. Who players in real life actually emoji happy tears? Yeah, some some of these ratings are absolutely horrible in this game, uh, Logan. Um, let's go to the next one. It is going to be Scarlet. So let's see what we get for Scarlet. Gareth Davies, Rawlins, Phillips and Lousy. I think I've got all four of them. Pray you don't, don't get Patchel. <laughs> I actually do have Patchel. Um, I've got almost every single messy. player in this game. Um, let's go. Next is going to be Benetton. So let's go and see what Benetton brings us. Maka, Lara, Yoni, Lazaroni. I've got all of them, I think. I'll show you guys my tea, all my players, just after this. Um, next up is the Toulouse pack. Life, but in this game, he can barely make three zero meters. Okay, can name it. Oh, <laughs> goodness. I actually haven't played with him in the game. You know that you can actually improve him, right? So Holmes, Elkstad, Pages and Tedder. I think I only got Pages, is it? Some really bad players for a, for a really expensive booster pack. That's why I don't buy them at all. Right, so let's go with the last one. It's going to be the Sail Sharks. And 
I have every single one of them so far right let's do like one more round of the first three teams or three first um, the f yeah the three that can can say a booster back um, first I will open that one let's let's make it interesting guys <laughs> uh, okay I just wanted to say let's make it international so the first three Same internationals Italy. Italy Wales epic players pack ah no I will get to the epic players booster pack just now Aaron um, so VIP didn't yeah he did say to lose okay Ireland Ireland so that's the three we're going to use Wales Italy and Ireland so let's go Ireland um, no, Regan, there's no way I'm opening New Zealand's booster pack. They're all unlicensed. Um, Italy. Where is Italy, by the way? Um, Italy, 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 where are you? There we go. Italy. And then, obviously, did I buy a Wales just yet or not? No, I haven't done a Wales just yet. Uh, there we go, Wales. Right, let's start with Wales. Take a punt on Take Fiji. A punt on you Fiji. can get you can some, get some fictional decks. They are really, really good. good. I try to avoid that um, the fluid route because um, I I normally just sell all my unlicensed uh, players because I try to keep it as realistic as possible. So Alan Jones, Evans, D and Williams. I do have okay, all four Fonso of them. Not think so MOG rolling on the floor laughing. MOG <laughs> rolling on the floor laughing. MOG all right. rolling on the floor Next laughing. one is going to be Italy. Yeah, I get that. Lavotti, Bat, Poledri and Canone. I think it was only like Lavotti that I didn't have. I would recommend Sam Warburton's book. I would recommend book Sam Warburton's book. That should be really interesting to to read. Right, let's go with the Island Booster back. And we got Farrell Torres, Henderson and Tool. Oh Tool, I've got all four of them as well, guys. So let's see what good. I can get. For, really I'll do book. like three epic booster packs. Let's go with three epic booster packs and see who we get. Warren Gatlin, Fana, Chepeto, Horn, Ori. So Chepeto is a waste because I'm going to sell him automatically. Go with the next one. Got Clark for Fauna Russell. So Clark, no good. I already have for Fauna. I'm looking to get um, Anton Dupont. He's eluded me so far. Let's go with another epic. So Porter and Devoto, Stain, Vola Vola, and Late. I do have. Sugar. So that was a terrible one. Let's go and buy like um, one French booster pack and see if I'm lucky enough to get Anton Dupont. And no, I'm not. I get four players that I already have with no epic player. And a fast runner Goodness for a gracious, nine. that's terrible. Right, enough with those ones. Let's just go and buy some superior ones. Let's I go with five now, Guru, but it has been good. superior packs. Right, cool man, Logan. Thanks for tuning in. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. So obviously I got like six ones now. Let's see who we get. McNichol, 12 Trees Lane, Rollins and Lavia. I think I've got all of them as well. 
we're going to have a look just now. Yeah, and obviously I don't have him as well. So Marta, Joseph, Runewald, Blomikis and Skabi, all I think I've got as well. Um, Laws, Matera, is that the actual Matera? Uh, Pablo Matera, if it is, it would be really cool. Amos, Tio, Civil, Barry and Rousseau. Uh, d not sure, we'll go and have a look just now. Landon, Batten, Delane, Delanoi, Alexandre, not sure who I've got there. Um, so yeah, we've still got plenty left. Let's do a couple of standard players. Let's see who we get, because obviously I'm trying to, to make the whole Spain team, but whether I will be able to do that, I don't know. So Carl, Lemmy, Duplini, Fia and Pretorius. Not sure who they, who is that. Um, Fraser. Yeah. Some of these names are really hard to pronounce. Engelbrecht, Hilu, Copeland, Basham. Yeah. So Dupont plays for Leinster, right? Or am I completely wrong? I don't think there's many Spanish players. I think I've already have like 10 of them VIP gaming. So I don't know if there's there's 15 at least. Is Baker in the game? Plays for USA Absolute Jet on the wing. Um, the fluid route. Um, I don't think Baker is in the game. Um, he's in the seventh side. So I don't think he's he's playing in in the USA team. Let's quickly go and have a look because I think I would have noticed him by now, and he would have probably been. USA's top player had been there. Let's just go and have a look who the wings is. Lucefo and Dupont Scully. Ah, oh, he plays for Toulouse. Ah, oh, stupid of me. Um, so yeah, no Perry Baker, unfortunately. So let's go to to that again because obviously I'll use this to just buy like epic player booster packs let's go booster packs just epic players and see Shame. whether we can get uh, Anton Dupont or Quibus Reiner for that matter and then let's go and buy one standard player as well just to I get it all done with. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure who these guys are. Right, let's see whether we can get a player that I don't have. Benitez and Hill, I think I've got both of them with Benitez not being a um, licensed player. Pollard, Henderson, Damn it, it's not getting any better guys. Healy, I didn't have, so that's a good one. The rest I've got. So I finally managed to get Kane Healy into my squad, which is really cool. Um, Lombard I'll have to sell, Fico I already have, Dominic Bird was one that I short for my New Zealand team, so I'm happy to finally get him as well. Um, Zitzman and Harams, a uh, total waste of 30,000 SP points, because both yeah, unlicensed. Yeah, Baker plays sevens, which is a real shame because it would have been really cool to have him in the game. So Clark and Nell both unlicensed. Can you show us your Lions team? I will do that for you guys just after this. We can go and create a Lions team. Oh dear, I'm getting all unlicensed guys at the moment. 
Maybe I should make uh, like an epic team of unlicensed players. There's another one. Attach Furlong and Robinson. I do have Furlong, so that's not going to work. Mauro Itoje and James Lowe I also do have. Larkin's unlicensed. Um... Jet Rasayek, Henderson, I'll... Hugh Jones, there we go, I've got Hugh Jones. Shock to see him rated in the 60s. Yeah, he's one of the players that I've been, or has been, eluded me. All the New Zealand top players are like in the, the standard, or... Yeah, Pollard. Yeah, now I've got all of these with Malharba being unlicensed as well. So terrible. Got to go now by everyone. Sale and Benitis. There I get Benitis again. Right, cool, Regan. Thanks for tuning in. So, Bye, yeah, Point Toot and Yandel. So this was really terrible. Let's go to. Let me first go to my squad and just unselect all the players in this team because obviously oh there's yeah, a few that I would want in my Lions team. Um, I think there's, that's the only team apart from the Springbok one and it's the okay Fiji and New Zealand. Right, let's go and make our Lions team. <coughs> Starting with the props, goodness gracious, I'll have to, to like get to these nice. ones. Um, let's go with the score. This is gonna be a good team. This is gonna be a good team, yeah. So, Furlong definitely has to be there. Um, you guys think Porter should be there? Because he's really rated high in this game, but I don't really rate him that high. What do you guys think? Shall we give Kane Healy an opportunity in the broader team? Um, Geppetto's not licensed. How about Reese Carr? Are you working your own? Are you choking your own? <laughs> what is that VIP gaming? Um, this one low rated. Aaron, I'm not back. sure. He's I haven't managed to get rated. Sutherland just yet. Pickle. Yeah, I'm going to pick my own one here. But obviously you guys can help me with it. Because I'm Southern Hemisphere, so um, you guys might give me a little bit more insight into Eight, four, carry, the team. Dot, dot, well, not in a million years. LOL. Well, not in a million years. Uh, okay, it's not that good. How about Dave Kilcoin? Let's just add him. We can remove him later. Kyle Sinclair obviously needs to be there. Um. Let's see who else do I have here. Um, Tom, Thomas Francis, probably not, guys. Um, I would pick Marco Vunipola, but he is rated <laughs> six eight. I've then got more or less an here. idea of what team I would love to see. Obviously, when Jones could be in a broader team. Um. Let's see who else. Joe Marler maybe. Nicky Smith maybe. Marco Vunipolo. Uh, Dan Cole's too old. Um, Better than Kerry, just not in this game. Jamie George at hooker. Jamie George ah, okay. at hooker. Let's see. Shall we? St let's start with a with a starting team, guys. Um, what do you think of Kyle Sinclair on on free and maybe who else is there? 
Um, Kainili on one. Um, who else is there that you guys can recommend? Because obviously I've got so many players, we're going to go through it forever. Sinkler sounds good. Um, geez, like I've got so many. Oh, but that's everyone. I need props. Let's go with props. Um, yeah, Sinkler and then Kilcoin is there. Yeah, I said Sutherland, but obviously um, I don't have Sutherland in the game. Um, so let's just choose Jamie George real quickly. I would add Stuart McAnally to the to the broader team as well. Then Ian Henderson um, should probably be there. Um, how about the Greys? Richie Gray, Johnny Gray. Um, Courtney Laws should probably be there. Alloan Jones. Um, obviously, I would go with Maro Ito. Oh, God. Sorry. I would go with Maro Itoje and Alloan Jones on the locks. Um, I know James Ryan is pretty good as well. Um, but. I just feel that Itoje, where is Itoje now? I need to just put my score up again. Falatau I've got. Um, he probably should be there. Um, here we go. Itoje and Alloan Jones. They made a mess up with Itoje, choosing him as a flanker in this game. So his rating goes down a little bit. So we've got Kane Healy, Jamie George, Kyle Sinclair, Itoje, Alloan Jones. Um, who, who should be the flankers, guys? Because um, obviously we've got um, the likes of the two... The two English flankers, um, and then also we've got Joss van der Fleer, Peter Manahue, uh, we've got Justin Tuperik, I don't have him in the game Not just yet, see you next stream. Jamie Ritchie. Okay, cool man VIP, um, Jamie Ritchie I can put in. Um, Let's just see. Where is Richie? Richie, Richie, Richie. Amy's watching. <laughs> Watson. Amy's watching. Yeah, they they will probably be there for sure. Um, but whether they will be starting is going to be another discussion because they're obviously two of Scotland's best players. Just look for. Where are they at the moment? Mm. I'm looking to find him. Obviously, Tom Curry should be there. Where is is Hamish? Sadly, only Falatau would make the forward eight for Wales. In yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, Justin Tipperick. Um, I think he's a really good player. How about Ludlam? Do you guys think he will make the team? Or Sean O'Brien? I think Sean O'Brien might make it. I'm not sure. CJ Stander, obviously. Where is Hamish? Did I get Hamish Watson? Um, let's just change this quickly to... To... Um, full names so that I can actually get hold of O'Brien yes definitely Richie squad. yeah O'Brien yes definitely in the squad I thought so um where is that guy now um 
Richie, Richie, Richie is under the R's. I've got so many players that it's starting to get difficult to, to get hold of all of them. And then at eight, do you guys think Vuni Polo will will get to to make the team? Billy Billy Vuni Polo. <coughs> I'm not so sure whether Wainwright will make it. Um, could put him in the broader team, maybe. I don't know. Because I did see that he's reasonably popular with you guys. Um, who else is there? Um, 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 um. Let's just go and have a look quickly. So. <coughs> Falatau at eight. Yeah, I've got Falatau. Let's, but he's really like poor in this game. Um, he's got a terrible rating. Let's go and look Falatau up quickly. Yeah, where are you now, Falatau? It's like rated sixty-four in this game. So, so we've got now. Are you guys happy with Amy Watson and and um, Jamie wow. Ritchie for for the viewers' choice? I can't see Wayne ride the same since you said he looks like <laughs> Ritchie. Oh, okay, tears. Alex. Emoji happy tears. And then we will go with with Falatau at eight. Uh, come on, what did I do now? There we go, Falatau, and then... Um, Hamish. So which one plays where? Is Jamie 6 and Hamish 7, or the other way around, I think? Yeah, so that's the forwards for the game then, or the viewer's choice of it. Um guys must tell me whether you guys are happy with Jamie six with Kane Healy and the rest of the the forwards I think Richie six yeah I think Jamie is six right then our moving on to our scrum offs um, who do you guys want to see at scrum off Thomas Williams Ben Young or Connor Murray who's it going to be Yeah, pretty good. All right, cool. I'm I'm glad you're happy with that. So, who are we going with? Ben Youngs, Thomas Williams, or Murray? Murray for me. Yeah, I tend to go with Murray as well, guys. Um, unless w the other guys think otherwise. Stopping in just to Murray. say hi, I left a little bit. Stopping in just to say hi, Guru. Soon. I left the How's it, Marco? I will go to bed Good now to see, see you again. Soon. Uh, live and kicking. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, Marco and one of his friends uh, uh, created a channel which is really cool. They're making all sorts of stuff. They obviously made uh, a mask for Marco. the coronavirus as well. And then they've got a few other um, videos that they also done. How about Willie Hines? Or oh, don't you guys rate him real high? Let's go with Connor Murray. Um, let's see where. Who else can we go with? Um. Right, for now, let's go with Connor Murray there on nine. None of the scrum hats have really stood out to me this season. Yeah, look, they at least they've got another season to prove themselves. So, yeah, Gareth Davies is also Gareth another Davies guy that possibly. that uh, would make my team. I, I rate him really high, but obviously a lot of people says that Thomas Williams have overtaken him. But I do feel that Gareth Davies still have plenty of experience 
that could help them. Who do you guys pick at 10? Because this is probably a big debate for me. Because I know a lot of people will say Owen Farrell, but I think he might just slot in at 12. Because that is the position that he's been playing as of late. So, I don't know, should we go with Owen Farrell? Um, oh, come on. Where's Farrell? Let's just add him so long. I can't go no Farrell. Flair. Da, 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 no flair. <laughs> then it's going to be either Murray Sexton or um uh, not Murray, Johnny Sexton and uh Dan Bigger then. Obviously there's um Ashcom as well. So let's look for somebody with a little bit more flair. There's Murray Dan Sexton, Bigger as MLG well. Ah, we can obviously tears. go with Finn Russell Finn as Russell. well. He wouldn't let the team down at all. Where is... Do I have Russell? I wonder. Let's go and check whether I've got Finn Russell. I think I've got him. Oh, come on. Farrell or Russell. Farrell or Russell. Okay, cool. I forgot about Russell. Let's see whether I've got Russell. Doesn't seem like I've got him. No, I don't. No, I don't have him, guys. Unfortunately. So, yeah. Who did I leave out? Where's Murray Sexton? Ugh. I keep saying Murray Sexton. It's Johnny Sexton. But I don't see Sexton here. Oh, there we go. Johnny Sexton. Yeah, definitely don't have Russell. Right, on the wing guys, who would you guys say shall we go with? I'm a big Josh Adams, um, Johnny May fan. Also, obviously Anthony Watson should probably be there as well. Um, let's go and see. Adams, yeah, form guy. Johnny May, Josh Johnny Adams, May, Josh Adams is what I was going to say. I yeah, to say. I tend to to agree with you there. Um, let's go with the wingers and then the score. Um, obviously, Jacob Stockdale should also be there. I don't know if Conway or Earls. They'll probably be in a broader team. To I and like May. Watson to and May. Right, so we will go with Anthony Watson, Johnny May as well, and then obviously Josh Adams. Where is Josh Adams? No. Come on, don't avoid me now. Where is Adams? There we go, Josh Adams. So, at fly-off, guys, who do you guys say, shall we go with Owen Farrell for now? Until I maybe can find Russell, because I could have swear I got him. Um, let's go with Johnny May and, and Adams for now. Russell is a 7-6. Yeah. It's okay, um, doesn't have to be high rated in the game, um, as long as we can we can make a decent team here. Um, I could have sworn I've got Finn, Finn Russell. So let's go and have a look at the centers real quick. Um, who do you guys see on, 
on center the fluid route says go shoot work tomorrow we'll check out your, check final, out your picks final picks later. later cool fluid route that would be awesome um thanks for joining in really um appreciate the support so who are we going to go at center guys um i feel that probably tuilangi should be there um How about George North on the wing as well? Max T says Tuilangi and Ringrose. So let's put Tuilangi and Ringrose there. I've got both of them there. Sam Johnson um, has where had is Tuilangi? Uh, so Ringrose now. There's Ringrose. So um, I wonder if Jamie Joseph will be there. Um, Kana, Rick, McFadden, Hadley Parks. I wonder if he'll be there. Let's put him in. Um, who else is there? It's decent players. Um, yeah, I think we've got a decent team there. Elliot Daly will probably be there as well, somewhere in the at the back maybe. Um, yeah, I think I've gone through everybody, unless there's somebody that you guys want to add there. So let's go with. Hog at fullback. Hog at fullback. Yeah, no, he's an obvious choice at fullback. So let's put Twilangi and Ring Rose for now. Remember guys, you are part of the of the players choosing the team. So yeah, let's go and look for Hawk real quick. Um let's see if I can find him. Hawk. There we go. There's Hawk. And then I just want to check if I don't see Finn Russell here somewhere. Um, let's see, let's see. Because I could have sworn I've got Finn Russell. Nope. If you guys maybe spot him, will you think Lee Halfpenny will be there? Maybe. Yeah. Ema be off now, Guru. Bye, everyone. For teams. Put, Put Rossi 92 for teams. Ah, oh, okay. Let's go and see whether we've we've got him. Um, to find him. Let's go and check Russing real quickly if we've got him. Oh no, I don't have him. <laughs> Pity, because I could have sworn I had him. So, let's just add um, Mr. Stuart Hawk there real quickly. So this is the the team. Sam Johnson had announced himself fame, but I think Scottish said it's or probably bias. <laughs> okay, yeah, but Sam Johnson is not bad. Um, although I don't think he'll reach the starting lineup. Maybe a midweek team if he does get selected. Wait, Guru, you still had it set to centers. Um, let's let's check Scotland real quick. So those are no, I don't have him. I actually am a big fan of Hugh Jones. Um, I don't know about you guys. Ryan starred at five in my opinion. Check but set it to fly hats. Ah, oh, it's only my centers that are oh, okay, cool. Let let's go and see real quickly. Why did I Let's leave the positions and the full name. Let me just go out 
of it quickly and then go back in and then I did set the the centers um, it's Tui Lungi and Ring Rose unless somebody else have, have uh, players that they want um, let's go and see under Scotland real quick if I have him because I could have sworn I had him I keep saying that let's go and have a look Henning, Horn, Johnson, Hugh Jones, Pergos, Turner, right, Cummings, no. So, I don't have him in my squad. Set to fly-offs. Mm, I don't think I have him. Position, I'm not sure if he no. is in Scottish squad. Ah, uh, okay. Let's go to, to Russing real quickly. Yeah, he's not in the he's not in the Scotland team, but he should be um under the players there. Yeah. No, nope, I don't Scott, have him. Scott, I'm sure. Yeah. Alright, so I still need to get Finn Russell for my team. But basically this is the team that we've got at the moment, guys, selected by you. Um, we've got Kane Healy, Jamie George, Kyle Sinclair, Maro Itoje, Alloan Jones, Jamie Ritchie, Hamish Watson, um, Falatau, Connor Murray, Farrell, Adams, Tuilagi, Ringrose, Johnny May and Stuart Hawk. So next what we have to do is we need to go and create a proper kit. So obviously let's go and make it all red and then we can work from there. Um, shorts, do they play in white shorts right? Or do they play in black? I think it's white. And then the socks will obviously be red I think. Shane Howell rated the players. Yeah I know, some of these players are really poorly rated. Right, obviously we need to find a new jersey there. Um, what do we throw in? Like black guys, but not that much. White, I'm pretty sure. White, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And obviously we need to to find a decent kit for these. Are you going to um, use this team in the tournament? No, 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 Max. Um, I won't be using them. I'll go back to, to the team that I have at the moment because um, I did pick a team that is pretty um, they do have a lot of uh, pace or speed if you want to put it that way are you guys happy with this with this jersey or should we change it up a little bit um, that one looks fine as well I think which one do you guys prefer here this one doesn't look too bad. What do you guys think? Should we still look for for some other? Hey Guru, gonna go now. Been a fun stream making the Lions team All right, tonight. Alright, Aaron. I appreciate your um, support as well. Yeah, so Max, no, I'm not gonna use this team at all. Um, I'm just going to go back to 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 my original team that I had. Um, because I did see if you got speed in your team, you, you tend to stand a good chance to win. So I think we should go for now with this. What do you guys think? Oh no, why, why, why? Or this one, where? This one? Or shall I stick to this one? Yeah, I think for now. And then the logo for me is not that big of an issue at the moment. Obviously we can go and change that to to that to this one at least. Where is it now? <laughs> for now. Oh no, not that color. Or that one. Just stay the same. Just the outlining, maybe black. 
right so this is the lion squad let's go and have a quick match just to end the stream guys shall we play against um, I think I've got the New Zealand squad here yeah there we go just to end the stream off guys um, give me five set the high bar and step into the breach in back couldn't fall asleep <laughs> Marco says he couldn't fall asleep yeah I know it's way too early for me um, can't use that stadium let's use the Olympic Stadium and we're off so guys this all black team that I've got here is basically all officially licensed all blacks all of them at some stage played for the All Blacks um, so it's basically the starting 15 um, who was that Yannick Brew yeah so this is a proper um, international at the moment Lions versus All Blacks This has been a really fun stream. Um, with the, we've opened up the, the booster packs, which I thought was really cool. And then we also created our British and Irish Lions, or the players that I have in this team. I'm not going to afford it, because I would like you guys to see the team lineups as well. So, Marco, um, I'll get in touch with you at some stage. Um, for that collab are you Ryan whip are you but yeah like I said I need to to get in touch with you at some stage I really liked your last video that you guys posted which was really cool definitely thanks so there you guys have it there's my all black full all black official team Every single one of them have played for the All Blacks before. Right, let's see what we can do. Oh. I think this is quite a decent um, kit that I selected for them. Um, I did get cr uh, critics from my last um, British and Irish Lions kit that I had the the numbers were red as well I didn't notice it until it was too late at that stage oh Tuilangi he'll probably do a lot of that be sure of that uh, ring rose oh set play worked in the end Connor Murray, Jamie George. Oh dear, turnover ball. And an easy turnover. YouTube channel. Can you give me some advice? I didn't get that last message. Um, Just waiting for that one to come through. Johnny May tackled really well. So I'm not going to go full throttle on these guys because obviously I could give them a really big hiding. Just going through a little bit probably played until half time guys or maybe less um, just to end the stream um, I've really enjoyed having all of you here tonight it's been really fun Alan Jones. Jones who do you guys will who do you think will be the captain of the British and Irish Lions the wideout glitch no they haven't because you still get like 300 SP points and then if you do a handoff you get more points 
so you can rack up really good points i i got like 855 sp points in an 80 minute match just doing the wide out glitch the whole time I c it's actually not a glitch so much but i tend to call it a glitch because i mean it's pro it's it's something that they probably didn't want us to know that we could do because now their challenges weekly challenges are really screwed because nobody's going to to like do that anymore because that was obviously the point where you would get a lot of sp points was by completing the weekly challenges and then also playing solo mode um, the only benefit of playing solo mode now is to to improve your your players um, attributes So yeah, who do you guys think will be coaching the the ah uh, not coaching leading the British and Irish Lions? I tend to go with Alwyn Jones. Um, I know Owen Farrell is the favourite according to the bookies at the moment, um, but I would say Alwyn Jones deserves to to actually get the captaincy for for this tour. If if he remains the best player, obviously. Oh dear. I love the set place in in rugby 20. I I really hope um, rugby challenge 4 got the set place this time round because obviously they they will have um, tactics again, which wasn't the greatest to be honest in rugby challenge 3. I hope Farrell isn't, but I feel he will. But I don't know why because I think a load of non-English players hate him, so I they won't listen I to don't him. Know why? Because I think a lot of non-English players hate him, so they won't listen to him. <laughs> yeah, look, um, Max. Like I say, I I prefer um, Alwyn Jones to to captain the team, but question marks remain whether he'll be the best lock forward um, when it comes to to picking the best team because obviously there's James Ryan as well which is really good um, so it's going to be tough um, not to pick Owen Farrell at the end because obviously um, he's really popular amongst the English fans and and players and um he's like the face of of international rugby for some people um like i think if if uh if there's another rugby game being made and england's license he'll probably be on the cover of that game Right, so I'm not making any headway at the moment here by doing set place because it basically only works really well if if you don't do everything the whole time like I'm doing just now. So let me do a couple of normal plays and as easy as that. Oh dear, no, it's not as easy as that. Are you excited for our? Oh, definitely, uh, Ryan. I'm really looking forward to it. I just wish they can get to a point to say when it will be released. Because um, I am thinking of buying the AFL I'm Evolution 2 Sexton game to do some um, videos and stuff on that. But it's not going to be Rugby Challenge, so I'm starting to doubt um whether 
whether um, I should buy it. Um, Max D says he's the price 16 is rated 83 because he's on the front cover. It wasn't the case when, when the game came out, Max. Um, Sexton was actually rated, I think, 89 before um, they did the updates on on that. Oh, there we go. Oh, Fekito is fast. So yeah, Sexton was rated 89, I think, or 90 the time the game came out. So that's probably why he was on the cover. But Rugby Boss probably told them um, that he hasn't been playing so well as of late. I wonder if Stuart Hawk will make the starting lineup Usually based on his uh, on his current performances in the Six Nations. Oh, Hamish. Yeah, I remember um, it's burn, right? The ratings were so, and still is, pretty uh, poor. Um, considering Rugby Pass helped them with it, um, it started making me doubt whether Rugby Pass um, is any good. Because I normally used to rate them really high when it came to, to stats and stuff. But I might get the feeling that ESPN's ratings are a little bit better and ultimate rugby so I don't know I don't know maybe you guys can give your thoughts on that I don't know how many of you guys actually go to the sites and have a look at that but yeah like I say ultimate rugby for me is um, really good with their ratings Oh dear, that's kicked directly into the... Rugby Pass are holding a FIFA tournament for rugby players. I wonder why it's not on Rugby 2-0. Yeah, the reason for that is because the online server for, for Rugby 20 is pretty awful. And FIFA has got like the... or EA has got the best service for online gaming. So I have seen it with... with uh, with the local rugby as well um, the Bulls I think is having a tournament FIFA tournament as well which is really a shame because it just it just shows you that they don't rate um, rugby 20 that high because if they did they would probably have used um, rugby 20 but like I say the service for the online uh, gaming is really really poor um, I myself wouldn't hold it for for a, for a um, tournament with such um, high um, players and stuff. Probably, if EA had made a game, they would have um, had an online tournament for that. And maybe if Rugby Challenge Four would have come out earlier and had all the licenses, they would have done that as well. I've been I've been watching the ML uh, uh, MRL major no major league rugby I tend to get that wrong um, playing rugby twenty and I haven't been that impressed at all by what I've seen so far it's been really lame. I am excited for the Lions tour. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's hope we're going to to have a Lions tour next year, Ryan. Because um, at the moment everything is still pretty uh, doom and gloom. Um, I really hope that everything can just go back to to normal real soon. Um, I am excited about the world, uh, the club World Cup if it's going to take place but obviously it's not going to be right now might be in in the future sometime 
but it's going to be really interesting to see um, how they they select the clubs that is going to to participate in that World Cup because I did see rugby pass did uh, like uh, do a, a thing on that and I wasn't impressed by the players that he that they chose that's going to participate in it although my local team is there the Sharks from South Africa is there they they put the Bulls there which is really poor at the moment um, the Stormers I think would have been the better option there Right guys, this run about a minute or two left of the stream and I will be saying good night to you guys because uh, it's been it's been a while um pretty long stream tonight but a really uh good one. I really enjoyed it. Hope you guys also enjoyed it. Ah, oh, Stuart Hawk. There we go. Inside pass. Where shall we go? White. Oh, no. Connor Murray. Little dab ahead. Try time. Too easy. Right. The last kick of the stream tonight, guys. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I have certainly enjoyed it a lot. Until next time, guys, this is the Rugby Guru. Thanks for watching. Cheers for now.